Mike Andrew, I'm with Steve Simmons. Steve, we're heading back to Toronto. We didn't think it was, well, some of us didn't think it was going to be this way, but we're back, heading back, game seven, once again, same as two years ago. What do you think is going to go on this time? Well, first off, we were heading back no matter what. They were either going to be starting a new series in Toronto or ending the season there. So the Raptors were heading home, we're heading home, <laughs> and, and there's one thing that's certain. I mean, the only thing that's certain about this team is you don't know what the hell to expect except to have your heart broken. Because that's the history of the franchise. It's all about yeah. heartbreak. Yeah, I mean, tonight it was, I mean, they, put, they, they came out with some fight for two quarters. Third quarter, I mean, it just seemed like it was so one side. It, it just went the other way, really. You know, there comes a point. This is six games have been played, and DeMar DeRozan has had a game and a quarter of what they call dominant basketball. For a guy who's supposed to be a star in the NBA, and 10 points tonight, that's a, that's a disgraceful number for a player who's looking for a max contract. You know, you look to your stars in, in, the, in the games that matter the most, and he just wasn't there at all tonight. Yeah, and I mean, you can extend that to Kyle Lowry. Lowry's doing a little bit more. He's doing some of the assists. He's doing a little bit more with the rebounding. But I mean, he's, they, they need him to score, and he hasn't scored in this series at all either. So, anyway, back to Toronto, Game 7 Sunday for Steve Simmons for the National Post. I'm like, yeah.